You could have come home, JJ. You could have come. How much are they paying you? Nation, welcome to an episode of Podcast, the podcast where you don't have to be a Packers fan, but it sure does help. I'm your host, Tom. I love you, JJ, but not that much. Grassy. And today, breaking news, JJ Watt has decided to sign a two-year deal with the Arizona Cardinals, a move that... Nobody saw coming. Sorry, Packers fans and Browns fans and Bills fans. Just didn't choose us. It's fine. It's fine. It's always the bridesmaid and never the bride. Before we get into that, I want to do a big shout and thank you to some brand new Patreon and YouTube members. First on the Patreon side of things, we have AP Crawdad and we have Rebecca Rowe upgrading her subscription. A big shout out and thank you to you both. And over on the YouTube side of things, we have Dashok and Danny joining the Grassy Posse over on the YouTubes. A big shout out and thank you to you. So yes, making waves throughout the NFL universe, J.J. Watt has finally chosen a team. <laughs> After there were uh, rumors, uh, uh, there was a picture circulating around this morning on J.J. Watt's Peloton bike, which he doesn't own, by the way, that he was either going to be picking Buffalo, Green Bay, or Cleveland. That turned out not to be the case at all, and apparently Peloton just... That pissed him off enough when he's like, you know what, guys? Screw you. I'm going to sign with the Cardinals. And boy, is this man about to make a lot of money. Signing a two-year deal for $31 million and $23 million guaranteed. So if he winds up getting the full bulk of that, he will be making more than $15 million a year. There were rumors coming out earlier last week that he was offered over $15 million a year. And we were like, ah, oh, that's just his agent putting out stuff. Nope, the, the Cardinals are going to pay that. So, just got to pray that he stays healthy. Now, here's the thing. J.J. Watt is still a very good player, right? He still gets double team, which allows other rushers to get free and they don't get as much attention. However, we also talk realistically. And, and this is coming from someone who would have loved J.J. Watt. I mean, not for this amount of money, but I like him, right? He turns 32 later this month, which... You know, that's that's problem. Since 2016, he's only played two full seasons because of injuries. Now, I am not doubting that he can't be effective. He played a full season last year and was still productive. It's just, yikes, this is freaking risky as hell. And I, I do have to say, the Cardinals in particular are a little head-scratching to me. Not that J.J. Watt picked him because you know, he's getting paid $31 million, but for the Cardinals, I'm actually surprised they go after J.J. Watt considering the amount of players they're about to have as free agents is extensive, especially in that secondary. But even if you're not looking at secondary, Hassan Riddick, the 26-year-old who just recorded 12 and a half sacks with the Cardinals last year, is scheduled to be a free agent and looks like he is not going to get paid now and instead is going to be replaced by J.J. Watt, which... I mean, I guess they're going to save money because Reddick is going to wind up commanding a big market in free agency, but damn, like, you, you basically trade him for a 32-year-old on a two-year contract. That just seems a little short-sighted. And, and here's the thing. I don't hate the move. It just is a little head-scratching because the Cardinals are still in a rebuild kind of mode. They did improve last year, going to 8-8, eight and eight, and they were competitive in a lot of games. Kyler Murray still looked good. DeAndre Hopkins is you know, obviously incredible, and that defense did improve. That defense was 12th in points allowed and 4th in sacks tied with the Buccaneers for 48. So their trajectory is definitely trending upwards. It just seems like this is a very ballsy contract considering J.J. Watt's injury history and everything. It just is incredibly risky. And I will say there was no way on God's green earth that the Packers were going to make this deal. I mean, again, I love J.J. Would love to see him get that homecoming, but 
Not for $31 million. And for the Cardinals, earlier this February, they had about $13.5 million in cap space. But like, just look at the guys they're losing in their secondary. Jonathan Joseph, Kirkpatrick, they're losing Kevin Peterson and Patrick Peterson are all scheduled to be free agents. So yeah, their line might be bolstered up and they might be able to get even more sacks than they did last year. But oh my God, it just seems so damn risky. Now, that being said, the NFC West continues to just be one of the best divisions, if not the best division in the NFC. Super competitive. The Rams obviously going out and getting Matthew Stafford. They're going to be really competitive next year. The 49ers should be healthy. That's a good thing. Now, on top of that, it also pays to have a really great defensive line. Look at the 49ers. But you look at guys like Trent Williams, which who knows if the 49ers are going to pay. And on top of that, you look at Seattle, whose offensive line has been abysmal for quite some time. And Russell Wilson was just complaining about them. So, I mean, good on them for identifying a weakness within their division, and they are going to exploit it. The NFC West is definitely going to be super competitive next year. It's going to be a total dogfight. And, of course, the Packers are playing the NFC West next year, so. Yay? So it seems like the Cardinals are not necessarily going all in, but they're putting a lot of eggs in this basket and are just praying that it works out. Reuniting with DeAndre Hopkins, you can already see the memes of the Arizona Cardinals becoming the new Houston Texans. But overall, I'm very happy that J.J. Watt is going to get paid. I know he said that he definitely wanted to get a ring. Who knows? This is an upstart team. Maybe they'll be able to make the playoffs and make an extended run because the NFC is kind of open. But it's just a lot of risk coming with it. It will be very interesting to see how this pans out. But let me know what you think down in the comments below. Did you see this coming? How do you think the Cardinals are going to do now with J.J. Watt on their football team? Let me know what you think. You can always send me at TomGrassyComedy.com or TomGrassyComedy on all social media you see down below. Check out podcasts on SoundCloud, iTunes, Google Play Music, Spotify, and of course YouTube. And a big shout and thank you to all the patrons over at Patreon.com slash TomGrassyComedy and the YouTube members. But there will be Madden Mondays tonight, so I will see you then. But thank you so much for watching. I'm Tom Grassy. And as always, Go Pack Go!